Hey guys, this is going to be an unusual vlog, but I thought I would point it out. This is something I was reading today about this huge rise in sextortion by crime gangs using social media to entrap victims. In a nutshell, what this comes down to is you see people, well the gangs, are going online and uh, getting girls or women to uh, pretend to uh, want to uh, go out with you, but they never go out with you and you can hook up with them. Uh, you can meet them rather through uh, social networks and uh, dating sites and so on. And what they basically want to do is they want to convince you to uh, do something that you would not want your mother to see. Uh, yeah, so you can figure out what that might be. So, And they want you to do that so that they can take photos, screen captures, video captures. And then what they'll do is they'll come back. And then they will uh, try to extort you, get you to pay up money, or they will take the images that they captured and the video that they captured of you doing things that you would not want your mother to see. And they would put this, uh, they'll threaten to put this on your Facebook and your Twitter and so on. So this is something you should be aware of. And uh, I'm putting it out there because... I know most of the audience are uh, guys who are in the target age range, teens to uh, 20s, 20-year-olds. 20 of course, it can happen to a bunch of older people. And it's typically men who are targeted rather than women. And uh, it makes sense because men are much more susceptible to this type of thing. Because the way the trap goes is that they meet you online and they start having chats with you and then say, hey, let's uh, let's have some fun, blah, 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 and away you go, and they take photos of you and you're done. So, first of all, if this has happened to you, my advice, and as they say in the article, is to basically shut off all communication, reach out to the police, and uh, get ready if some, uh, some things uh, about you are posted live on Facebook. Uh, it's going to be embarrassing, but hey, what are you going to do? You, uh, six months, nobody's going to care, and that's it. So just try to relax if that happens and say, hey, sorry, you know, I got scammed. And uh, any reasonable person who's a friend of yours or a family member, if they're not hypocrites, they'll realize it could have happened to them. That being said, so let's talk about what you can do to protect yourself against this. First of all, you got to assume rule number one of the internet, rule number one of the web, of the interwebs, as I like to say. Rule number one is that you never assume that you have any privacy. So let me reverse that. Assume that everything that you do is publicly accessible, even if you think it's not, even if you're on uh, protected uh, accounts and all this kind of stuff, accounts can be hacked, passwords could be breached, Photos could be released. We've seen this with Apple even. We've seen it with Sony. We've seen it with everybody. Even one of our old systems on killer sites years ago got hacked. Fortunately, we don't keep any credit card information or anything like that. Anyhow, so uh, back to this whole sextortion thing. So you have to assume whenever you do anything on the web, whether it be written, video, audio, or images, just assume that it can be released to the public. So if you move with that assumption, if you operate with that assumption, you should then never put anything online that you wouldn't want your mother to see. If that's, uh, that's the criteria, or your mother or your grandmother. You don't want anything that your mother or your grandmother, uh, you wouldn't want them to see. If, if you're about to do something and you would be embarrassed that your mother would see this, then don't do it. That is my uh, advice to you. If you do that simple rule, you keep yourself out of all kinds of trouble. Now, this is especially hard for younger guys because, uh, you know, our brain is made up of two sections. We have the higher level brain, which is our cognitive, our thinking brain. And below it, we have this much, much, much larger monkey brain, the lower brain. The monkey brain is extremely powerful in terms of influencing our behavior. In fact, the monkey brain influences 90% of our decision making. So uh, with that in mind, whenever you're about to make a decision that is emotionally charged or, uh, let's, shall we say, uh, physically motivated, I would suggest to you strongly that you take a step 
back. Count to 10. No, no. Count to 50 before you make a move that's being driven by your emotions or by something else that's not intellectual. If you uh, do that, you keep yourself out of a lot of trouble. Let me give you an example. Let's say when you go shopping for groceries, if you're hungry, you're going to buy all kinds of stupid food that you might not buy. So when I go shopping for food, I try to make sure that I've eaten already so that I'm full, so that I, when I pick in the foods that I'm buying at the grocery store, I'm picking out food that uh, makes sense, right? So this plan of action about buying your groceries when you're, you know, when you're full, this strategy can be applied to all other aspects of your life. So keep that in mind. Make what you will of it. And so there you go. So it's extortion. Be very careful. Don't be doing things online that you wouldn't want your mother to see. And if you follow that simple rule, you'll probably keep yourself out of a lot of trouble. Always assume that whatever you do online can be made publicly available. And the uh, fact of the matter is 99% of women will uh, not be interested in, in anything lewd, anything that you, know, you wouldn't want your mother to see again, to go back to that again. 99% of women would not want to do anything online anyway. And uh, so if you're doing online dating, take it from somebody who's done it and somebody who has had a dating site, owned one. I would, uh, after a very short, quick chat, I would uh, be meeting meeting these uh, women at a coffee shop in a public place where there's lots of people because you never know what you're going to get until you meet them in person. And if they don't want to meet you in person at a public place, let's say for a coffee shop or something, then you don't want to meet them because obviously there's something going on there. So there you go. Don't get caught in the sextortion. Don't reveal anything that uh, you wouldn't want your mother to see. That's my advice. Bye-bye.